the function f and g are defined by this is f and this is g where h and k are constant right so where is h and k so h and k are constant given that g3 is equal to 8 gf2 is equal to 5 find the value of h and k so whenever we see something like this so we see here we have the object so we need to find the function first so we have gx yes we have gx so here we can see that gx is equal to hx plus k and it is given that when g3 so when x is changed to 3 x here will change to 3 so h times 3 plus k is equal to 8 so here we have 3h plus k is equal to 8 this is from the first one so the first clue now gf2 is equal to 5 so to do this we need to find gfx first so we don't have the gfx so we need to find first so we start with the g first we have g right yes we have g so here we see gx is equal to hx plus k now gfx so now we get gf x is equal to when we change here to fx so x will change to fx plus k so fx is equal to x over x minus 1 so h x over x minus 1 plus k now we have gfx so it's given that gf2 is equal to 5 so gfx so now here we see gfx is equal to hx over x minus 1 plus k so gf2 is equal to 5 so gf2 when this one is equal to 2 x here will change to 2 so h times 2 is 2 h over 2 minus 1 is 1 plus k which is equal to 5 so we can see here 2 h plus k is equal to 5 2 h plus k is equal to 5 this is the second one so we put together we can see 2 h plus k is equal to 5 this is the second equation so you see here you can do the simultaneous equation so you see this one is k this one is k so if you minus the first equation with two equation you can eliminate k so 2h minus uh, 3h minus 2h is h k minus k is 0 8 minus 5 is 3 now we get h is equal to 3 so using 1 or 2 you can get what is k so if i use the second one so we know that 2h plus k is equal to 5 so using 2 so 2 3 plus k is equal to 5 so k is equal to 5 this one is 2 times 3 is 6 we bring to the right we become negative 6 so we get negative 1 so h is equal to 3 k is equal to negative 1 find the value of a if fg a is equal to 3 so we see here do we have f yes we have f so we can just substitute we start from f first so f x is equal to x over x minus 1 now instead of f we have f g x so f g x so you see here because f g x is also equal to f we just include g x inside so when we change this one to g x everything with x will change to g x so here g x over g x minus 1 so do we have g x yes g x is h and k so we already know what is h and k so h is 3 so this one is 3x and k is minus 1 3x minus 1 so this one is 3x minus 1 over 3x minus 1 minus 1 so here we get 3x minus 1 over 3x minus 2 so now we have fg x so it's given that fg a is equal to 3 now we can change so here is fg x right so here okay so we can see that f g x is equal to 3x minus 1 over 3x minus 2 so if f g a is equal to 3 so f g a means x is changed to a so 3 a minus 1 over 3 a minus 2 you can see here x changed to a and it is equal to 3 which is equal to 3 so 3a minus 1 so here we bring to this side so 3 
3a minus 2, 3a minus 1 is equal to 9a minus 6. So we bring 3a to the right, we get 9 minus 3 is 6a is equal to, and then 6 we bring to the left, we get negative 1 plus 6 is 5. So a is equal to 5 over 6.